What's up everybody, I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Today on the show we're gonna talk about Netflix. And you know, that's a service that, since the very beginning basically, has had tiers of service. But obviously these tiers have changed a lot over time. Back in the days of DVDs, the tiers of service meant how many DVDs you could keep out at one time. You were on the one DVD plan or the two. And of course, prices have gone up as well, most recently in 2017, but the tiers as they currently stand for Netflix are the, uh, the, the basic tier, which is $7.99, and it's, it's essentially a hobbled version of Netflix. You don't even get HD video streaming with that, uh, that basic tier. You, don't even, you certainly don't get 4K, and you only get one screen at a time to watch Netflix on. Then you have what they call the standard tier. That's $10.99 after the prices, price increase in 2017. That gives you HD, but not 4K, and you get two screens at a time. And then finally, they have what they call premium, and that's $13.99. You get HD, you get 4K, and you get it on four screens. That's how the service currently stands, but Netflix right now is testing a new ultra tier in a few different markets. So not here in the States where I'm at, but it might be where you are. Um, it's kind of, it seems to be in a few different places and showing different prices in different places, but it's clearly something that they're experimenting with. So what does this new ultra tier get you? Does it, do you get more screens, even more than four? Do you get something with more than 4K? Do you get extra shows that aren't on regular Netflix? No, it basically gets you exactly what the current premium tier gets you. You just pay more and the premium tier gets bumped down to a lesser service. So the ultra service right now is getting tested in a couple different versions. The first version, is uh, the the one that is kind of the, the the worst scenario. So it offers four 4K streams and it pushes the premium tier that we currently have now down from four to two 4K streams. So they, they basically make the 4K version worse so they can then bring in a new tier and charge more. Uh, $16.99 is the price of this new ultra tier. The other version that they're testing is slightly better in that it adds a little bit extra, uh, but that offers four 4K streams. The premium version in that tier does as well, so both offer four different 4K screens at one time, but the ultra tier is different in that it offers HDR or high dynamic range. That's something that certain TVs can do to make your colors a bit more vibrant and pop. So the added bonus in that version for Ultra to pay that extra few bucks a month is to get HDR support on top of the 4K support you're already getting from Premium. And again, both of those are, are being run for $16.99. Now, first of all, this is just a test. This is uh, just a subset of customers are getting offered this new uh, kind of tier option when they're going to sign up. And it's something that you know might not get rolled out everywhere, they might scrap the idea entirely, or it might be drastically changed when it does roll out, so prices might change, offerings might change. But as it stands right now, it's actually pretty troubling. Instead of adding value to the existing tiers, it's pretty poor form to diminish the existing options to kind of carve out a niche for this new, more expensive tier. It's as if there, a, a, a group of people sat down in a boardroom and decided they wanted to charge more for Netflix and then worked backwards to figure out how to do that. Like, okay, what if we take some from here and take some from here to create this new tier? It certainly is kind of the opposite of, of, of what they did when the company first started. It, it feels that way, at least. This feels much more kind of cold and, and kind of money grubbing to, to kind of get uh, all of these extra dollars out of you. And also at this point, charging more for HD and 4K is this antiquated, ridiculous thing that just doesn't seem to want to go away. The, the basic Netflix option not even offering HD is something that literally no one wants. It's only there so Netflix can put $7.99 on all of their marketing materials it's not actually a service that anyone's going to reasonably sign up for 
if they know any better. Anyone who has a TV they've bought within the past 10 years is going to be able to play HD content. They're going to want that at least standard version to get HD. And then as we get further into the, the future here, more and more shows are going to be made in 4K natively. It becomes increasingly ridiculous to lock 4K behind some premium tier. It's becoming the standard for production. Why would it not also just be the standard for viewing? Why do I have to pay like I'm some like extravagant, ridiculous customer? just to see the show as it was intended, as it, as it was created. Um, it's ridiculous, and the only point is to get more and more money out of us and virtually raise the price of the service as years go on without having to say that they're raising the price. That's basically all that it boils down to. It feels like Netflix is really trying to dip their toes into that lucrative package business that cable TV created years and years ago, without them realizing that practices like that are why we all left cable and came to Netflix in the first place. So my ultra version of Netflix is one price, a single tier, and not having to consult some spreadsheet or frequently asked questions just to decide how I should sign up for their service. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me to hear me complain about Netflix a little bit and their new Ultra tier that they're testing out. If you like this show and you want to hear more, new episodes of Pretty Dece premiere weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash show. You can also check out the daily episodes on the podcast feed or the YouTube channel. You can find both by searching for Pretty Dece. And of course, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter at Pretty Dece Show.